Welcome back, everyone. We're back with more highlights and scores. Let's jump right back into the action. We're taking you to a no mercy matchup tonight between Lamar and Dylan. First game of the season for the Dillon Wildcats as they take on the Lamar Silver Foxes. Lamar coming off a big week zero win. Within the opening minutes, the Wildcats would put the first points on the board thanks to senior running back Ty Martin taking the handoff and driving it up the middle. Dylan wouldn't go long without the ball after Jamorian Fling would come out of nowhere to snatch the tip pass and take it back for the pick six keeping the Wildcats on top, scores 14-0. Dylan keeps moving the ball into Lamar's territory. Quick toss to Brandon Allen. He would then charge his way into the end zone, breaking off two defenders while doing so, and they're up 21-0. Wildcats would not hold back in the second quarter either with Ty Martin yet again breaking ankles, dancing his way into the end zone for another six points. On the board, Dylan goes on to win this one tonight, no problem. Torching Lamar, 41 to zero. Other class 3A action tonight, Manning won 32 to 14 against Scott Branch to go two and O on the early season. Meanwhile, the Bulldogs of Marlboro County welcomed Shira into the pound. They would win the final 40 to 12. Heading to Marion High School, the Marion Swamp Fox is taking on the Wilson Tigers tonight, both coming off of big wins last week. Minutes into the first quarter, Marion coming out of the gate quickly as QB Gabriel Krusak lobs one up and it's caught in the end zone for the touchdown. Now it's time for Wilson to answer to a 14-0 lead, but a pass is picked off by Cameron Felder. Swamp Foxes with the ball into the hands of Aquarius Jamison, who runs it in for a 75-yard touchdown. And Marion is up 22-0. However, that's going to set off the Wilson Tigers and the comeback kids certainly making headlines with this one tonight as they fight their way back, running away with the victory, beating Marion tonight 56-36. Also tonight, the Yellow Jackets of Andrew stung the Georgetown Bulldogs at home, winning 32-12. Meanwhile, the Wild Gators of Lakeview took a chomp out of Mullins to win their first game of the season, 34-14 as that final. Heading down to Georgetown County now, where the Carver's Bay Bears host the Cross County Rivals Waccamaw Warriors. Both squads looking to notch their first win. Didn't take long for the Bears to find the end zone in this one in the first drive of the game. QB Kenneth Bateman pitches the ball out to Richard and Bronwyn, who takes this one to the house for six. But the Warriors would answer back thanks to that run. Freshman running back Andre Great finds the dirt to even it at six. Moving to the second quarter now, where we find the Bears and Warriors knotted up at 12. Bateman connects deep with Bronwell, this time through the air to put Carver's Bay back up by six. Waccamaw, though, not going away without a fight. Senior quarterback Jarrett Yonker rolls out of the pocket and drops a dime to Colin Benny for the touchdown. The Warriors convert the extra point, giving them a 19-18 lead at the half. The second half was all Waccamaw. The Warriors go on to win this one, 33-18. Other Class 1A matchups on tap, the Johnsonville Flashes shut out Green Sea Floyds last night, winning it 28-0. And the Tigers of Hemingway traveled about an hour to take on Stroud Rosians and lost 44-0. The McBee Panthers lost 8-35 on the road against the Buford Yellow Jackets and the Lada Vikings blew out East Clarendon on the road 31-0. Finally, Hannah Pampago won 26-20 against North Central. Moving to ESA action now, Conway Christian hosting Kings Academy at the Billy Gardner Sports Complex. This one was all Lions getting on the board early here as quarterback Garrison Fields finds Nathan Watson, who makes the big stretch across the goal line. The two-point conversion would make it 8-0. Next possession for Kings Academy. Field swings it out to Trey Mills. He's able to beat the defender in a race to the pile on another conversion. Makes it 16-0. Then the very next play from scrimmage, a mishandling of the halfback toss quickly goes the other way. Nathan Watson grabs it out of the air for the defensive touchdown to make it 22-0 in the first quarter. And then in the second, Watson showing he can do it all. He lines up the field goal here and it just bounces off the crossbar through the three points, 25 to nothing Lions. 
Kings Academy rolls in this one. 48 to zero is your final. Here are the other Skisa teams that played tonight. Florence Christian lost to Hammond 49 to zero. Dylan Christian lost 22 to 14 to Carolina Academy. Trinity Collegiate will play Starkville Academy tomorrow. Finally, PD Academy traveled to Columbia to take on Cardinal Newen. They won 48 to 42. And we've gone through all your highlights and scores, but we've not done yet because we have to look at our extra play point of the week. Heading back to Sockasty High School, the Braves holding down their new turf. It's QB1, Rocco Wojcik, 64 yard touchdown pass to junior career Scott, who just cannot be taken down and scores just 55 seconds into tonight's matchup. A great way to start the season at home will be exciting to see the chemistry grow between those two this season. Well, that is all the time for this week's Extra Point. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We will do it again next week for week two. For all those scores, make sure to check out WMBFnews.com and click under the Sports tab. Good night.